welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am really, really excited about this topic uh, because I love looking online, you know, whenever I'm pregnant or, you know, about to have a baby. I'm always curious what other people think about what are the essentials because they're so, it's so saturated out there, like get this, get this, get this, and it's always so expensive. Um, so I have really thought about this list about zero to three month baby essentials. What do you really need? What can you go without? And what is affordable? Um, and so I'm excited about this. So I've got a couple little goodies here on hand that I'm gonna show you. And then if I don't have it like right here with me, I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about. Um, but these are just a couple things that I have found helps because honestly, you've got a newborn, you literally just need diapers, milk, a, and a place for them to sleep. Like the first three months of their life, that's really what you need and your arms because honestly, you're gonna be holding them for the first three months of their life nonstop because they're just so cute and cuddly. Um, but what I'm talking about in this video is really just to kind of help ease and kind of make life easier for you and for baby um and just a couple things that i really really liked and noticed that i used with my first child and with my second child some of these things i haven't used with elena um just because i didn't have them but i kind of just like upgraded or found something better um so first thing i want to talk about is the pacifier so <laughs> This is kind of a taboo topic, okay? So some people don't like the pacifier and some do like the pacifier. Some people say don't give the pacifier until they are three months or like a couple weeks old um, so that they can establish a latch if they're breastfeeding. Now, first daughter, I wanna emphasize, she did not breastfeed. She breastfed for the first three weeks of her life, but after that, she was bottle fed. But I did give her a passy in the hospital. Um, and she didn't have any confusion latching when I did breastfeed her in the hospital and then the three, three weeks that she did. Um, and then she moved a bottle, so of course she was fine with the passy. Now, with my son, he is still being breastfed and he is six months old, um, and I did give him a passy and that also did not confuse his latch. Um, now, obviously talk to your doctor or your pediatrician on what they would recommend, but me personally, my children did not get confused with latching. Um, now, I say zero to three months because he dropped the passy about a month and a half in because he got sick. He got like um, a cold and so he just didn't want the passy. Um, and so he hasn't wanted to take it back ever since. I have been trying to incorporate it back and you know see if he will take it back but he's just not quite interested in the passy so that's one thing that is just super helpful for mom for baby especially in the car seat um, and some have found studies have been proven that pacifiers do help bring the risk of SIDS sudden infant death syndrome down because whenever they stop breathing, it helps them to like, oh, they've got something in their mouth so they feel like they need to suck and then they, they continue to breathe. So again, just talk to your pediatrician about that because that is a taboo topic. Next thing on my list is the swaddle. Again, my daughter was swaddled up until the day she was born until she was too big for a swaddle. Um, now there's different swaddles and everything but my favorite ones are the zipper ones. Um, in fact, I have it right here. This is the Love to Dream swaddle that I get. I just get at Target um, because it has a zipper that goes down and then this zipper goes up when they're sleeping so that you can just have access to their legs to change their diaper. Um, now this one in particular, the arms go up because Jackson, my son, liked his arms up. My daughter, she had a different one, her swaddle, like velcroed and she liked her arms like this jackson likes his arms up so honestly i would just maybe get one or two swaddles before your baby's born um don't spend a bunch of money um looking and getting a ton of swaddles because your baby not, might not even want to be swaddled i know of some people who their babies never wanted to be swaddled so just keep that in mind when you're 
thinking about swaddles um, because he also stopped wearing his swaddle at nighttime after he got sick because he started sleeping on his belly. Now again, that is a taboo topic. I really, I get kind of nervous talking about the way that I parent and different things because a lot of people don't agree with it. Um, but I did talk to my doctor and she informed me that since he was sleeping next to me and it literally takes a heavy breath for him, for me to wake up, like it literally takes nothing for me to wake up. And I was sleeping right next to him in the bassinet, like his bassinet was right next to my bed. So I felt comfortable putting him on his belly. And honestly, when he was sick, it was easier for him to breathe because he would spit up and I didn't want him choking on that. So that's why I put him on his belly. Um, so again, he obviously wasn't swaddled. Um, so he just really slept good on his belly. So he has never gone back to the swaddle. So that's why this is in the zero to three month essentials for us. Um, the next thing that kind of ties in with sleep is the, um, the wedge. So doctors say no blankets, no pillows, nothing that keeps them, nothing in the crib or bassinet that will risk suffocation, right? Well, this little guy is really, really cool. So if you have a baby who tosses and turns, um, early, I, I know children who have tossed and turned early between the three month period and they get mad right so this is really just going to stop them from rolling and it's to where they can breathe it's breathable it's um it's foam inside and this is completely like you can you can take it off and situate it to how big they are you can make it smaller you can make it bigger um it really just depends on how big your baby is but i use this with elena a lot more than jackson because she was again swaddled and so I didn't want her rolling um, all of that and he did use this when he was swaddled and he fit in this guy um, now this was gifted to me so I don't know if I can link it I'll look up this brand and see if I can find it online to link it and again all of this stuff that I'm talking about in this video will be linked below if I have a link for it so stay you know look down below if you find anything that you are curious about um, and get it from there so that kind of goes in with sleep next thing that goes in with sleep that I would recommend are the sleepers so I'm not one of those people who really dresses my newborns up super extravagant I really I like keeping them in diapers if we're home um, I like you know the sleepers because they're comfortable they're not they're not itchy and scratchy um, so I really like these sleepers now this is a big one this is three to six months but all my other zero to three months are packed away. But this sleeper I really, really like because it doesn't have the buttons and it has a zipper all the way down to the feet. Okay, there are, this one I thought had the zipper that goes up like the swaddle, but this one only goes down, which is fine. It works just as good. Um, but I really like this sleeper because the zipper is a lot easier to do when you're half alive in the middle of the night and you you can't see because you're not turning lights on. You've just got a nightlight on and whatever. These are so easy because they're just unzip, change the diaper, zip it back up, and they're good to go. So um, I would recommend these kind of sleepers and um, you can get them anywhere. Anywhere will have zipper onesies. Um, now, another thing that goes on with sleep is the Hatch Baby, and I'm gonna post a little picture right here. Um, the Hatch Baby sound machine. Now, I had a different sound machine with Elena. In fact, she still uses it. It's great. It has a little projector that projects like stuff at the ceiling um, and she loved it. It worked really good for her, but I did want something different. I saw this online after having her and I told myself I would try it with our second and so far I love it. Um, you can touch the top and it changes the sound, the lights, the whatever. And my favorite part is you can do it all from your phone. It's Bluetooth to your phone. So you can turn the brightness down with the lights. You can turn the color different. You can change the sound. You can even favorite. Um, my son's like the one that we really like is like the washing machine sound and the white light. So um, we have been trying the blue light but we're not too sure because I think it's a little bit too dark for him, but we really love the Hatch Baby Sound Machine. So that's kind of what I have for sleep. 
Um, the next thing for like play, as much as a baby can play at zero to three months, would be the swing. These are on Amazon. They're um, a really good place that I have found to buy baby gear is um, Burlington. They have really good deals on stuff there as well. Um, but I really like the swing when they're that, and I say three months, because, and that obviously depends on your baby and the baby's size because <laughs> Jackson was, I think, out of it at three months because he was too long. Um, and he kind of, it just made the, the balance was off. And so I wasn't comfortable putting it, like I will not put him in it now because he's just chunker monkers. And so we just leave that to zero to three months. But it does help when they are that small and like you wanna cook or you wanna clean or whatever and they want to be moving. I like the swing. Now I just got a really basic one. I didn't get any kind of fancy. I think mine was like 60 bucks. It was just really, 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 really basic. Um, but I do recommend getting a swing. Next thing I would like to talk about um, is the play mat. So I really love the Love Every play mat. I will be completely honest. I don't think I would buy it myself because of the price. But with my registry, I had some gift cards that was given to us. And then I had like um, some kind of credit from the registry as well. And I used all of that to purchase the Love Every playmat because I really wanted to try it. I do love it. I do love it a lot. I really like everything it stands for. The material is really clean and really good. Um, but I don't think I would purchase it myself in full. Um, I have to be honest because it's very expensive. I think it's like 140 bucks. So leave that up to you and your budget on whatever you're doing but they do also have great play mats everywhere they've got also another place i really like to buy baby gear that i have found is marshall's and tj maxx really good places really affordable um and then i have another play mat that we really like that's kind of like it's like the the tp look and then it's it's wooden and then it has a little um thing that they can sit on or whatever but or lay on so it's really just up to you on what kind of play mat you want for your baby but i do like that but i will say that there are others out there that you can do that are more in the price range if you are on a budget baby bathtub now i will put the one that i have up here um but uh i also have this one now if i can put a picture i will um but actually let me just go get it. So I'm just gonna be a little extra and I'm just gonna show you the one that I have. So this is the Summer Comfy Clean Deluxe Baby Bathtub. Now I have a farmhouse sink, so I have a very big sink. This will also fit in a bathtub. It's up to you, whatever you have the space allotted. So this is the bathtub. So we have a different one and I used it with Elena and we were using it with Jackson. It is a bit hard when they're so small um, the one that I have currently. So I'm gonna show you guys this one because we recently got this one to have at my mom's house and then we accidentally brought it with us when we left and came back home. Um, so I'm gonna take it back to her house, but I really like it because this is, okay, so this is what it, this is what it looks like, okay? So Jackson is not quite sitting up on his own. He is, but he still falls over. So he doesn't have the core strength that he needs right now to sit up completely. So this is where he will lay down um, and be able to lay back. So the water, you can plug it. This is the plug right here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the little pictures of the different stages, but basically it also comes with a sling. So when he's really, really, really small, um, you have a sling to attach to it on the sides. I just don't, he doesn't use that anymore. So I don't have it and I don't know where it's at, but it does come with a sling when it's brand new. Um, that they can sit in it's like a mesh sling and I like this one because it can fill up with them and then if it gets too high you can just unplug it and it and it and it lets out really really fast so I really like um, and recommend that baby bathtub and then I would also recommend between zero and three months the car seat cover especially if it's the cold months or if it's a sick season because I don't know 
I don't want to freak anybody out that's a new mom, but people like to touch your baby if you're out in public. <laughs> and that is something that I cringe and I get a lot of anxiety about is when people are walking up to my baby in the stroller or in the car seat in the, in the, What's it called? The cart? The grocery cart? Um, because, I don't know, people just love to see babies and they're adorable and you can say my baby's cute all you want, but it does make me nervous when people come up and touch. So, I really find that having a cover, um, I don't have it with me right now, but there are so many car seat covers. I'll post a picture if I can find an example um, of car seat covers that are very tight and they keep your baby safe and nobody touches your baby. And it also keeps the cold air out. You can get thicker ones based off of where you live and how cold it is. Um, but I have really found that those are a lifesaver. Now, if you are a breastfeeding mom, I do find having those covers that are closed. So they have car seat covers, the one that I was just talking about. They also double, whoop, it's gonna fall. They also double as a breastfeeding cover. I don't personally like those because I feel too constricted. Um, so I do just like to use a blanket. I have recently found, it's actually in the dryer, a, a breastfeeding blanket at Target. I will see again if I can link that. But it has, it's a regular, it can be a blanket, it can be a swaddle, it can be a cover. And I like stuff like that. That's very versatile. Versatile? I think that's the right word. Um, but basically, it has a um, little strap on one of the corners that you can like tuck one of the, so like the strap is on this side, you can tuck the corner into the strap and it stays, it stays there. Um, but honestly, you just kind of, you just kind of lean your shoulder on the thing so it doesn't fall off. Because when they're zero to three months, they aren't really tugging on the blanket too much. Um, so I found that now he's six months, it is very needed to have that extra protection because he almost flashed some people when I was in public and it was really, really scary. So zero to three months isn't too much of a big deal for that. Um, but that is really all I personally feel that baby needs from zero to three months that I can think of right now. Um, if I can think of anything else when I'm editing this video, I will link it down below. So look for that. But I really don't really think that there is nothing that is a necessity between zero and three months. So I do have a couple items on my list that are needed for mom between zero and three months. Um, for like breastfeeding moms. Oh, I did have one more thing, teethers. So again, they are zero to three months. So Jackson didn't really start using this until three to four months, but these are really cool. They are completely hollow and they're rubbery and he really loves these because he can hold on to it super easily and he can just chew on it. Um, I found these really, really, really useful. Um, and then I did have a couple items on here for mama and baby kind of thing. Um, one that can go between breastfeeding or bottle, it literally doesn't matter, is just the diaper bag. I have found I really like using backpacks for diaper bags. And this one is specifically a backpack that is a diaper bag. So it's huge, but I love it. There is so much room. Okay, this entire pocket lays down so that you can change their diaper in public because there's nothing worse than wanting to change your baby and there's like not a soft space or there's not a clean space or just whatever the case is. Um, there is a ton of storage, there's a ton of room and this is a really affordable diaper bag. I think I got it off of Amazon. Um, this was a gift that was gifted to me but I think, I think it was off of Amazon, I'm not too sure. And then right here, you have it for your stroller. You can hook it onto your stroller um, or just whatever you find but I really like it. It's the Ruvalino, the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. I don't know, I just, I really found that I really liked it. A ton of room, um, especially when you have a toddler too, so you needed diapers for two babies. She's potty trained now, but when he was first born, she wasn't, so that was really helpful. Um, now, the last little part that I'm gonna hit pretty quickly is mama, breastfeeding mama. 
So I will have a separate video, um, you know, like a breastfeeding video on my take on breastfeeding. Um, but I did want to mention zero to three months, what I would recommend that you need a breast pump. So this is the breast pump that I have. This is the Spectra and I really, really like it. It's super, super easy to use. Now this does plug into the wall, so you can't like take it on the go or anything, but it's very easy. Here is the on button. It's obviously not plugged in, so I just tried to click that for nothing, but this is the cycles, makes it go different. Like, um, I think the cycle is like different speeds. Um, and then this is the vacuum. You can go higher or softer um, based on the suction for the vacuum. And then this is gonna be your letdown and then regular pumping. So it's very, very easy and then it has a light. So when I was going into his nursery every night to rock him, when I was nursing him in the middle of the night, I would keep this little night light on. Um, it's under here and it was the perfect light. I could see really well, but it wasn't too bright. It was gonna wake him up. So I really like that. Um, and then, oh, I forgot this, baby balm. This is the best diaper rash ointment. And I just recently found this, but I did wanna put it in this video because it's so safe. It is so natural, so clean that I wish I would have had it for him when he was zero to three months old. Um, it is by Earthly Wellness. I really love their brand, their, just everything about them, I just, I love what they stand for. Um, in fact, this brand was built on the backs of diaper rash cream, basically. So um, I will link this down below as well. I do have a code for this stuff, um, but um, if you guys are interested in that, I love their products. It's just so clean, literally so clean. There's no additives, there's no preservatives. So this can go bad if it's you know around too long, um, but this is just the, five ounce little stick, but I'm pretty sure they have a bigger one. Um, so that's what I love. Next thing for mama would be the Haka pump. I really do like the Haka pump when they're first starting to latch. My son wasn't super hungry, so he would only eat on one side, which left the other side a little bit fuller than I would like. So I really like the Haka pump for that to be able to get the let down. And I have an entire freezer stash. I'm talking stash just for my haka. That is it. And I'm, I love it. Um, also going with that would be breast milk bags, obviously to store your milk. Um, so that's really all I've got for my zero to three months. I will be doing like a three to six months because he is six months right now. So I do have a couple extra things I want to add to this list, um, for zero to six months. And then I also will be doing baby lead weaning. So I do want to keep you guys on that journey. I have no idea what I'm doing with baby lead weaning, but I'm very excited about it. Um, so I will keep you guys updated on that, but that's pretty much all I've got today, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some comfort in this, knowing that you don't need a ton of things. Um, oh, I did forget to mention one thing. Um, I have this three tiered little shelf. I'll post a picture somewhere to show you what I'm talking about. But basically it, I keep that by my bed and it, I'm able to keep my diapers there, my wipes there. Then I'm able to keep like extra blankets, extra pajamas. And then on the bottom, I keep like lotions and diaper, whatever. Um, but I really like that. I did move that in there. Um, and then of course his bassinet, I forgot this too, his bassinet that I am obsessed with, obsessed with because he's still in it and he's six months um, and he should be able to stay in it for a while. But I love it because you can take it on the go. It folds up super easy, super compact. Um, and then it comes with a little travel bag. Um, but I'm really obsessed with that one. I have a hair. Anyways, um, so I really like that bassinet. Um, I got it for Jackson as a gift. Um, and it has been obviously the most used thing because he sleeps mostly right now. <laughs> Uh, so I would definitely recommend that bassinet. Very affordable. Anyways. Um, okay guys, that is it. Again, if I forgot anything in this video, I will be linking it below. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel when you guys give it a thumbs up. It shows YouTube, hey, they liked her video and it was good and I need to push it to other mamas or other people who would be interested. So um, if you're not already subscribed, I have a lot of baby content coming. 
uh, because I'm just excited about that baby mom. I'm just, I'm obsessed with videos like that. So I really want to start making videos like that as well. So make sure you're subscribed because I have a lot of things coming your way. Um, and I hope you guys have a really good day. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram because I share a lot of day-to-day -day stuff over there guys. And we have a lot of fun on Instagram. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.